Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Madam Web. We're going to talk about Madam Web. It's not off to a good start at the box office. Did anybody think this movie was going to do well? I mean, it's going to get like what a six day opening window. Six day opening window. <laughs> and even then, they're not expecting it to do well. I'm hearing people are going to the theater and like nobody's there. Yeah, we're going to talk about how bad this movie supposedly is. Disclaimer, we did not waste our money to go see it. Uh, I do have friends that saw, I guess, Aaron Sparrow went to go see it. Mr. Milo from Pirates and Princesses did, oh too. Oh, my God. Uh, it sounds absolutely horrible. Well, there's a bunch of leaked stuff on the internet because Squid yeah. King was telling me how bad, how bad it was today. Yeah. And basically, it's to the place, unless you want to go be bored out of your mind but laugh your ass off, there's really no point to go see it. So just like Morbius, and I'm sure Craven is going to follow suit. So let's uh, let's talk about this before you get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Not many woohoos from the people watching this movie. Apparently, it is currently sitting at. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back. Thirteen percent. Thir cool, yeah. Thirteen percent on Rotten it Tomatoes. It was like fifty-three all audience, and then I think like or I think uh, verified. Then all audience is lower than that. Uh, so. For comparison's sake, Morbius is at 15% and Batman and Robin is at 11%. How many reviews on the Madam Web? Uh, Madam Web has 168. That's not good. That's no. not good. We'll, we'll go out and read some more of these reviews, but let's talk about the numbers uh, first. And then we're going to talk about some spoilers. This movie sounds so much worse than I thought. It was going uh -huh. to be. It's pretty bad. Uh, Sony's newest Spider-Man spin-off, Madam Web, is in theaters now. It's off to a slow start. They said, according to GameSpot, which is reporting on Madam Web for some reason, the movie released on February 14th in the U.S. Uh, for those of you who want to give the uh, Valentine's Day gift that uh, guarantees you're not going to get any, take them to <laughs> take them to Madam Web. Uh, earned six million for its first day and two point two million on Thursday for a two day total of eight point two million. But what gets me is what gets me. Um, they're saying that Madam Web is projected to earn twenty five to twenty seven million six days, not not a three day weekend or four day. No, six day. Okay, this what the you hell? Gets this on what planet? <laughs> February 14th through the 19th is now considered a weekend, according <laughs> the Valentine's Day, the President's Day long weekend. I cannot wait for the Thanksgiving to New Year's long weekend. The, the you know, whatever, I know have like right? six, yes, six yes. weeks. And that's when Disney six, spins it that way to say, hey, look, our, our movie did great. That's what they're going to do. Oh, my God. We made $100 million in six weeks, guys. That's that's what we did. But yeah, uh, for comparison's sake, Bob Marley. Did uh, which actually looks pretty good 17.9 million after two days. So, more people want to go see Bob Marley One Love on Valentine's Day. They're probably going to get some if you took your your significant other to Madam Web. Uh, you know, I mean, I know she promises, uh, uh, you know, tying people up with sticky fluids. I was gonna I, say it's promising sticky, but you're not gonna get I don't any. think you're, I don't um, think you're gonna get, you're really sticky. gonna get yeah. sticky is if you get that dune, that dune tune pop, popcorn bucket, you know. Um, could they do that with Madam Web? Could oh. they? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so it had a budget of only $80 million. Site sources said it could actually be as high as $120 million, and that's before advertising. Yeah, and they've been advertising the hell out of this movie. Yeah, and, and it's not even good. How much did they say it was going to do over, over the sixth day? Uh, 25, uh, 25 to 27. 27 million. Uh, wow. do, that's pretty optimistic. I'm I'm feeling that if you're only doing like six million on opening night, you're not gonna hit that that mm -hmm. number. But again, it's a it's a six day weekend, everybody. <laughs> That's what you tell your boss. The only one is a word for that. Call it a week. It's called is a, it a week. walk. A, a week. A wombo. I mean, it's Oh my God. Yeah. So far, just Venom and Venom 2 have been tolerable. These other movies are terrible. Now they're trying to roll in um. Uh, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and across the Spider-Verse. Now, those are those, as far as I'm concerned, are a totally different thing. They're animated Spider-Man movies, actual Spider-Man movies with Spider-Man and oh yeah, Miles Morales. But what I'm well, saying Peter is Peter like, was in this ish, but he wasn't called Peter and this a baby. Yeah, so I I'm wondering if they have to sidestep using Peter Parker and or Spider-Man for legal reasons. So they just didn't name them. These events all happen in Madam Web. Now it's funny. This is coming from uh, the Ebony Maw on Twitter. Uh, all these events happen in Madam Web, except for one. Can you guess which is why? 
I'm kidding. They all happen. These things all happen in this movie, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Madam Web is born in a cave in Peru with the help of magic spider people. Yes. Yeah, so apparently her mom was a photographer and then they leave her for dead. And then the, the, ma- the spider people deliver her. And because they delivered her, they somehow, you know, give, gave her a spider uh, sense um, stuff. So we couldn't do the Japanese Spider-Man because why? That would have been way more interesting, right? Mm-hmm. The three spider women, we've seen them in costumes. So we're thinking this is like a CW show or something, right? The spe- the three spider women never get powers and are only seen in costume during dream sequences. Right. Cause this was be seeing into the future. Like they're trying <laughs> the point to keep it cheap is that she meets them on the subway and then has a, a, a flash forward about them. A spoilers. Okay. And um, that they're going to be the spider woman that, that, that kill the bad guy that was the one who killed her mom. So that's when you see them in their costumes, but they are not yet spider women. They they're will not... someday. Well, the evil Spider-Man gets killed by a Pepsi sign. That's yeah. what I've heard. Like he gets killed by a giant Pepsi sign. He didn't see that coming. Cause apparently he has some of what, somewhat of the, of the, the same ability where he can see the future kind of thing. He didn't see it coming. So, you know, Spider-Man's not as special when every, when everybody's Spider-Man, they, them, Spider-Women, no, no one is. Well, you know, this isn't a Disney movie because it was Disney and be Coke. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Walt didn't like Pepsi very much. Madam Webb becomes wanted for kidnapping by the NYPD. Madam Webb runs down evil Spider-Man in her car twice. Peter Parker is born, but not named. Mm-hmm. Again, that's probably a rights issue. That's probably, a, you know, a, a mercy you know, thing for Spider-Man. We're gonna I mean, we him. don't we don't want that. To, do we want to keep his name out of it? Keep keep his name out of your mouth. We're going to name him Pepsi. Pepsi Parker. Peter Pepsi Parker. That's his middle name. Uh, and someday he's going to be the bestest superhero ever. Matt, until Miles Morales comes along. No, until woman. Till Obviously. Woman. Madam Web inexplicably splits into three ghost-like copies of herself near the end of the movie. What? What? Mm-hmm. And apparently by the end of the film, she's in a wheelchair and she can't see. Basically putting her to where she, what her current status is uh, in the comics, but she's not old. Yeah. I figured making her old on top of everything else was just too cruel, apparently. So as I understand, because again, I'm way out of the loop. Marvel Comics haven't interested in me for at least 10 years now. Although I might, I might read Ultimate Spider-Man. I've heard nothing but good things, but I guarantee you they're going to kick us in the balls at some point. But they actually gave us... Peter Parker, Mary Jane, married with kids, where they probably would have been had they stayed the course, right? But, um, yeah, as I understand it, it's actually Spider-Woman now is Madam Web, and old Madam Web, like, died or turned to dust or something. Who gives Hey, well, this isn't Spider-Woman. It's Madam Web. No, she was... No, no the new the saying. new Madam Web in the comics is the younger Madam Web that used to be Spider-Woman. Right, but this woman isn't Spider-Woman, so... Yeah, she's... Ma- oh, that's confusing. Anyway, 13%. 13%. The reviews are just the best. The reviews will make you laugh. I like you laugh. It's so pathetic. It makes someone want to go back in time and give the execs who keep commissioning these movies arachnophobia. Ooh. What? I owe an apology to the Marvels. Madam Web was one of the most painful theatrical experiences of my entire life. <laughs> F score F. F minus, minus, minus. Too many writers revising rudderless material so that Sony can keep hold of the rights up to this IP and share Marvel Studios profits when linked to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I can't the, believe that they would link Tom Holland's Spider-Man to this shit, but who knows? Uh, with an overload of inanities to uh, deal with and tied over, the cast besides Dakota Johnson includes Sidney Sweeney and uh, Tara Rahim. It's hard pressed to pull the proceedings out of the fire. Mam Web is a messy and meaningless film that despite having no bad intentions also has no reason to exist. The cast of this film's only redemption. The cast of the film's only redemption, but even they can't salvage a dreadfully bland script. Beyond the writing, there are pacing and editing issues for days. I also heard that they have like they clearly recorded lines and their mouths don't like that they don't sync up with it. Like they didn't even care enough to make it match. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, whatever. Nobody's gonna watch this movie anyway. Like I said, if you're gonna do that, do the Japanese Spider-Man. Just go all in on the camp. 
you know? Uh, God, Japanese Spider Man's so funny. I love Japanese Spider Man. Madam Web is a tangled web of incoherent and abandoned storylines written with little regard toward the characters, the plot, or the final product from a woman. A woman said this. <laughs> If there's one thing about Madam Web is that it's the perfect movie to pirate through an incredibly shady secondhand torrent site. Oh my God. <laughs> so Annie, a woman, I'm assuming, unless it's short for Anakin, that'd be kind of cringy, um, is telling you to pirate this movie. Yeah, even... Just pirate this, steal it. I mean, some movies are so bad, they're not even worth stealing. <laughs> it's bad. It never gets any better. Then you go home. That's the whole experience. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. Tell oh. it like it is. Well, here's a positive one. This is a uh, uh, Maria E. Gates from cool people have feelings too, from Substack. I actually really enjoyed spending time with these characters, but we all know the rest of the review. It could be like this movie is pure dog shit and it doesn't work on any level, but I like the characters. Okay. God awful is too wimpy a word for the super diva cash grab <laughs> that sinks Dakota Johnson and what feels like a random batch of half fake ideas Toss the screen in a cynical assumption that will buy any lazy hatch work that the spider is Spider-Man adjacent. Resist. Spider-Man adjacent. Oh, oh my God. Uh, why does this? Oh, so, okay. This is, this is coming from a uh, Jim Schmembry. Sh- Schmembry. He gave it a positive three out of five. This doesn't sound very positive to me. If you were to believe the thermonuclear attack launched by the world's motion picture critics against Madam Web, you could be forgiven for expecting it to be among the worst entries of the superhero genre. Is it really that bad? Well, no. That's not what I hear. Kurt Loder. Oh, God bless Kurt Loder. I remember Loder. Kurt Loder was relevant. Oh, I like Kurt Loder. That's he's what still... I said years ago. Yeah, I like Kurt Loder. He's still Loder. around. I'll give him that. Yeah, he's he's kind of a badass now. He just says what he thinks on Twitter. Dakota Johnson's air of serene self-possession in the face of the movie's limp CGI and lunkhead dialogue is wonderfully calming. She's not appalled by the movie's mad editing and muddled plot. Why should we worry? Uh, they caught her and they were trying to make fun of her. And I actually thought it was kind of funny. They, they told her to name the three Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. And it was kind of funny because she didn't know the names of them, but she did. She's like, okay, there's uh, Spider-Man, like the first one. Okay. Okay. And then it's, um, 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 like Spider-Man, another one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. And then, and then she's like, oh, Spider-Man and the Goblet of Fire or Spider-Man and the Goblet of Man, I, th- I think is the last one. I thought that was kind of funny. People are like, she's a fake nerd. I'm like, look, she's clearly in it for the paycheck. And it better have been <laughs> pretty damn messing good. messing with you. She could just be messing. I thought it was. I thought it was Congratulations, hilarious. Sony. You outdid yourself. You actually made a movie worse <laughs> than Morbius. Madam Web was another obvious case of Sony turning on a movie to keep the Spider-Man property. Pretty much. And the thing is, is that there are characters and concepts in the Spider-Man universe that they could use that, I, you know, they could do something. I mean, Venom was a good, Venom was, it wasn't great, but it was okay. You know, it was a good start. They were kind of, but now it's just like, now I'm waiting for them to do the clone saga, right? Like we can't get Tom Holland. So we're going to get this like knockoff Tom Holland. Sorry. People will wish this was made by Warner brothers. So it would be abandoned for a tax write off. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, that's the best. That's Doug Walker. That's from Channel Awesome. That's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. That's funny. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. Um, wait, wait. Madam Web is a long and poorly creative advertisement for a soda brand that appears repeatedly on camera. This is like Wayne's My money's World. on. My, is it Pepsi? Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> they should just put, just put Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man. Put Pepsi Man in the movie. Speaking of Japanese Spider-Man. You could have Japanese Spider-Man and Pepsi Man together. That would be amazing. I would watch that movie. Madam Webb is now the worst movie Dakota Johnson has starred in. That might not seem like much of a statement until you remember she was in three Fifty Shades movies. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. It's worse than uh sits alongside Catwoman and Morbius. Yeah, I mean, look, it's almost to Batman and Robin. We're almost down to Batman and Robin. Uh, at least it's not Steel. Steel's actually got a lower I'm surprised. Steel has a lower rating than Batman and Robin. Uh, there we go. Eight percent. 8% for steel. Yeah, it's it's pretty dog shit, right? Like what mm. were they thinking? I don't know. I, I'm just kind of getting the uh kind of getting the idea that these studios are just like, you know what? We have too much money. We have millions and millions of dollars sitting in the bank account and we don't want to give it to our shareholders. Let's burn it. Let's just burn all the money. What can we do? Madam Webb sounds like a good idea. Well, this is the thing, like these movies could have been done well. 
No. But they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> when they said Madam Web, I'm like, what are we going to have? Like freaking two hours of some old broad sitting in a chair? I mean, come on. Like, instead, we get like an origin story. I mean, we're talking real origin. Clear back to the birthing cave in the cave. What? The birthing in the, the going through the birthing cave. The can birth canal. The I birth know. I, I'm calling it the cave. Tunnel. In the cave. It's called a vagina. Some women have them and some women don't, okay? Get with the program. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, does she, does Madam Web, does she, does she, can she spin webs out of her ass? I don't know how her power, I really don't know her powers. I know she's like an old blind lady in a chair that would show up for no damn good reason. And I remember thinking, okay, we got Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and Spider-Grandma. We got too many spider people. There's too many spider people. We need to get back to basics here. I don't know. We gotta wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.